Understanding Uterine Fibroids, a guide for English learners. Hello, and welcome to our educational video. Today, we're going to explore a medical term that might be new to many English learners, uterine fibroids. Our goal is to help you understand what they are, why they're important to know about, and some related English vocabulary. Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths that develop in or on a woman's uterus. Think of them as benign tumors. They can vary in size and number. Some women might have a single fibroid, while others could have multiple. The key thing to remember is that they are not typically associated with an increased risk of uterine cancer and almost never develop into cancer. While some women with uterine fibroids don't experience any symptoms, others might face various issues. These can include heavy menstrual bleeding, prolonged menstrual periods, pelvic pain, frequent urination, and difficulty emptying the bladder. Understanding these symptoms is crucial, as they can significantly impact a woman's quality of life and health. The exact cause of uterine fibroids is still unknown. However, factors like hormones, estrogen and progesterone, family history, and pregnancy can play a role. It's important to note that women in their childbearing years are the most likely to develop fibroids. Diagnosing uterine fibroids usually involves a pelvic exam and imaging tests. Treatment, on the other hand, depends on various factors like symptom severity, size and location of the fibroids, age, and overall health. Treatments can range from medication to surgical procedures. Living with fibroids can be challenging for some women. It's essential to maintain regular medical checkups and be aware of changes in symptoms. Additionally, lifestyle changes and emotional support can be significant in managing the condition. Thank you for joining us in learning about uterine fibroids. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in expanding your understanding of this medical condition and related English vocabulary. Stay curious and keep learning!